Hey guys, me, Sandra here. Just gonna do a little recipe experiment with my Instant Pot. I'm gonna try to make pineapple rice. So I'm using brown rice, long grain brown rice. I have two cups of rice here in my Instant Pot that I've drained, well rinsed and drained. And then I put it into the Instant Pot, into the, the base. Hang on. And then I have two, have added to that two and a half cups of water. I'm going to throw in some frozen pineapple and then um, see how it goes. So I will be back in just one second. Okay, so I've got to my brown rice. I added, uh, I didn't really measure, but I added some frozen pineapple and some frozen mixed veggies. So I'm going to get that into my Instant Pot, turn it on, and then we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so I've got it in, I've got it in the Instant Pot, you can see. Now let's put the lid on. And it's locked gonna make sure this is to the to the ceiling and then I'm gonna press the rice button and see how that works 12 minutes hmm no I think I'm gonna do hmm Manual, let me check the manual here. Well, according to my book, it says perfect brown rice. It says if it will, it's not gonna zoom in here. But anyway, it says in here, um, Close the lid of the Instant Pot, press the manual, and then use the minus button to choose 22 minutes pressure cooking time. So we're going to do that. So manual, 22 minutes, right? 22 minutes. Now it's going to automatically come on in a few seconds. There we go. So we will come back when this is done. Dog or cat or anything that eats treats, do they like to chase things? Well then this product is right for them. Introducing the all new Purina Bag and Party Poppers. All you need to do to use this is twist the lid off. Get a treat. And it can be any treat. All you need to do is just put it in, the, in there. Then, then take take the lid and put it back on. Push the nose down and wash the treat. Pop! See, the treat can go in any direction. If you want to buy this product, go to your nearest Walmart or local grocery store. Look in the pet section. Bye bye. Okay, so my rice is done. As you can see, it's switched over to the keep warm button, and it's I've allowed it to do a natural release. It's been going for ten minutes now since it stopped cooking. So I can uh, just push this valve over, and it'll release pressure. And once that stops, I can open the lid. See, you can, can't really see the steam anymore. I hope this turned out. I'm not really sure. I've never done this. Uh, I've never done pineapple rice. I've only cooked white rice in the Instant Pot. I haven't even tried brown rice before. So once, once the hissing stops, I'll open the lid. Now it's venting. Oh. Okay, now. 
we will stop. We'll open the lid. Okay. Now, just let me get something to stir it with. Okay, so let's see. Just stir it all up together. Looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks pretty good actually. It's pretty, uh, let me get someone a plate. Okay, so this is it. Let me just try a little bit of the brown rice. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's cooked nice. Oh, that's really nice. Now let's try some with the pineapple rice and a bit of veggies. Wow. That brown rice turned out nice. Mm. Yeah. That turned out really good. Okay, guys, so that's it. This will be nice with a, maybe a little bit of soy sauce or some other kind of sauce, but it'll be nice for my lunch. And I'll have some for dinner today as well. So that's it for now. I'll come back with another recipe video another time. I hope you like this video. I hope you give this a try. Whether or not you have an Instant Pot. And um, this turned out really nice. So anyhow, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and have a bit more of this rice. And then we will see you at the next video. So if you like the video, don't forget to press like. Um, subscribe to my channel to see more videos. And I'll be back later with another video. Take care. Bye.